the water depths uh, make the relief well a challenge. You've got to have very large uh, rigs like the DD3 to provide the hydraulics required to kill the well once the intersection is made. And all in all, uh, this is the 41st relief well intersection that I've been involved in. I guess you guys got the uh, geological update, huh? Right now we should be right on the edge of it based on the, the last call. The bed should be like inches of not touching it right now. Is the plan still to drill 10 to 15 foot? I guess we should down. just decide now whether we're going 10 or 15. Take a couple shots on bottom, it sounds like. Go, go back to drilling 15 total more feet. At that point, circulate bottoms up, it sounds like. Come out of old, open old range run in. Okay. Does that sound like the plan? Yep. Sounds like a good one. The actual drilling of the well uh, has gone quite uh, at the plan. We're pretty deep, 18,000 feet. So that's what we're concentrating on primarily is uh, precise placement of the tool face and uh, direct the bit towards the blowout well. Because we're only trying to hit a little seven inch diameter piece of uh, steel. 18,000 feet, that's pretty difficult. 18,000 feet's a long way. Um, we've got 5,000 feet of water followed by a significant, the remainder of that is all uh, rock and, and we've got to hit the target, it's pretty unforgiving. And the closer you get to it, uh, obviously the area of uncertainty becomes smaller. A uh, very, very difficult situation from the engineering perspective. John Wright really is the, the best in the business, that's why he was, he was brought on board, so uh, the best and the brightest to, to handle this problem. He does a lot of uh, abandoned and damaged wells after hurricanes have blown platforms over and he has done this 40 times in the past and never missed a well. We had very low signal strength on the electromagnetic ranging tools that I've never seen in my entire career uh, and so for all of a sudden us to have that on probably the biggest uh, project we've ever been involved in was a little stressful. Uh, we actually didn't start getting uh, proper signal strength until this very last run uh, when we made the intersection. Everything went well. Everybody knows what to do and everybody's going to get in position. Yeah, we've cross-checked the uh, lab results with the uh, blend listed in the uh, recommendation. Uh, everything's copacetic there. All right, guys. Well, go forth and we'll be watching. The next step now is uh, set a balance plug in the bottom of the well and then they'll close in our BOP stack and they'll squeeze that cement into the Macondo annulus and they'll hold that pressure until the cement sets and go back in and uh, see what it did. To achieve what we've done with the intercept and perform the way we've performed I think is a real credit to, to all the guys. There's a lot of work it paid off. That's what we've been trying to do for four months, get to the bottom of it and intersect it.